Is it not? I'm gonna need to say something. Beauty and the Beast. Maybe Carnita. Good morning. Welcome to her back to my channel. Welcome to a new week. Today is actually Tuesday. Yesterday, I had like a sick day. I had like this stomach bug or something. I mean, I did have a really fun weekend. So like, I don't know if that contributed, but I don't think so because my stomach is just like really sensitive. I feel like it may be fighting something off. I never got like sick or anything, but yesterday I was just kind of down for the count. Couldn't really eat much. Stomach was very sensitive and nauseous all day. Didn't really do much of anything. Worked on my computer. Got a lot done on my computer, which was good. I really needed that time to like chunk down on some stuff. And I made some good progress, which was good. However, I didn't get a full workout in. I just did like an arm workout. I did like a bar and a Tracy Anderson video. I did a few videos videos to like compilate a full arm workout with these bands that I have. Let me show you. I have these. These are not the Bala bangles. These are actually Jessica Simpson. I don't know. I got them at like TJ Maxx or something when I was home one weekend, but I'll link some of them on Amazon that you can use, but I am feeling like I got a good enough workout with my arms last night, so that's good, but I didn't really eat much, so that was that. We're still on this health journey. We're still on the grind today. My stomach is still very sensitive. It's been a few hours. It's already noon and I haven't eaten anything. I did have some coffee, but I haven't really eaten any. Oh my gosh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling up to eating. I might make like a smoothie because that would be like light on my stomach. I don't know yet, but I did book a Tracy Anderson class today. I just need to like, I don't care. I need to get up and move because I've just been feeling it. Like I need to do it. So I booked a class. At Tracy Anderson, I booked the late one. I booked 5.30 because I figured I would want to just like chill the whole day. Hopefully I'll feel great by the time I go. But if not, it's all right. I just have like slight stomach pain and nausea. Whatever, TMI. Anyway, I think I'm gonna make a smoothie now. So let's do that. Everybody makes fun of me, but I'm so short and I don't feel like getting out the like huge staircase thing that I use these to get everything. I can't reach that even with the tongs. Let's make smoothie. I feel like the light in under my kitchen, this like under the cabinet lights really make me look orange. The camera goes orange, but whatever. Otherwise I'm backlit because I got windows back here and we don't have like an island. Make a smoothie. Oh man, my stomach hurts. Strawberry banana. I have some bananas that I've frozen. Let's put one in these straws. All right. I've been adding a teeny bit of this, how do you say that, faget? Or am I just being too fancy and it's phage? 0% milk fat, just plain yogurt. I just like to add like a spoonful to give it some body and creaminess, protein maybe, a little scoobity doopity. And then I like the base of my smoothies to be coconut water. So I'm gonna put some of that in there. I like to usually do eight ounces of liquid and see how that works. Some chia seeds. I have flax seeds and though they're great fiber and great in smoothies, they make everything taste fucking disgusting. But the chia, you don't really like taste. If anything, I kind of like the flavor of chia seeds, but flax seeds are literally gag. Unless it's a very strong tasting smoothie. I'm not adding them anymore. And then I end. Yes. Right. All right, I'm dressed and ready. I've been working on my computer for hours and hours and hours, but now it's time to go to my class. I just like, my hair is dirty, so I did like a twist knot, did these little braids, because I needed it down on my face. Let me show you my outfit. Here is my outfit. So Tracy Anderson is heated and it's hot. So I usually just wear like a sports bra and leggings. I just got this. I'm actually wearing a sports bra leggings. These are Lululemon um, little like cropped ones. And then I got this little like top thing off of H&M, so I'll link it. But I thought that'd be a nice little workout outfit. And then you do wear sneakers. So I think I'm gonna wear these because last time I wore 
these, which are like my weightlifting ones, and it just like wasn't comfortable on my ankle. I needed a little bit more support, so I'm gonna wear these. I really need like an in between those two sneakers, but I don't have that currently. So luckily, you don't need anything at Tracy Anderson. They give you a mat and weights and towels. I'm bringing a big fat water because you sweat, <laughs> and I'm excited. So I'll see you there. Let's go. And then I'm gonna come back and take. All right, I headed out on my way to Tracy Anderson. I go to the 59th Street Studio, so my favorite one. I was doing a mat class, my favorite mat class. I like to show up a little bit early. So first you do a little bit of arm standing workout, and then you hit the mat, and it's just the craziest moves you've ever seen, but the best workout I've ever experienced. I crave it. I'm so in love with it. It's so bizarre. Sorry for the crotch shot, but just wanted to show you like the type of moves you do because they're really crazy. They end up hitting every little muscle in your body and toning every little muscle, the supporting muscles to create the overall strength. So it's really great. Definitely recommend trying. They also have online. All right, I'm back. I'm showered. We just ordered dinner. We got street taco, some yuca fries, amazing, and some tacos. Let me guess what Dan got. So, chicken tinga, one for me, one for Dan. Carne asada, maybe carnitas, fried chicken, pork belly, delicious. Hello guys, I just finished filming my updated jewelry routine, or updated everyday jewelry because I obviously love jewelry. I have my own jewelry line. I wear jewelry all the time. I'm sweating, but I have an appointment to run to and I'm starving. So I'm gonna eat something really quick and then run to my appointment and come back and we'll chat. Let me show you my outfit because I think it's cute. I'm wearing these Zara jeans. I think these are called the Marine jeans. They have them in a few different colors. I think they're one of their best sellers, but they're like a flare style jean, no front pockets. They're cute. This belt is from Free People, and this top is from Cotton On. I'm literally withering away. I feel like my blood sugar is dropping. I need food. All right, let's eat a pear. Hey, I just got back. I went to couch. So let's chat. So I have just started a new podcast. I'm a really big fan of podcasts and I get fed some TikTok clips on TikTok. And I've seen this one called The Therapy Crouch. At first I thought it was a therapy couch. And I was like, Crouch? Is that just their accent? Like what? Then I saw that it's actually called that. Turns out it's his last name and they're married. So maybe it's her last name, but adorable podcast if you have any podcast recommendations that i should listen to i like like comedy ones i like people that are funny the like self-help or self-improvement like i don't really care to listen to those i want it to be funny so let me know if you have any recs this is my first episode of theirs and i really like it so far so good but i just got back from my appointment also i love to watch podcasts on youtube i don't love to just like listen to them even like i came back stopped where I was and then put it on the TV so I could watch it. I just came back. I had to go to an appointment. I went to get my allergy shots. I've been going every week and sorry, texting Dan. I think I might uh, bring Brooks to the dog park today. He's listening to me. I like going to the one near Dan's work. First of all, it's my favorite one and we get to like walk home together sometimes afterwards. Anyway, I had an appointment. I went to get my allergy shots. This has happened to me twice now and I feel like it's classic, but I like really feel like I'm a level-headed person. I feel like I don't get angry very often. Like I really don't get angry. That being said, I have learned about myself that I have a pet peeve and it's, it's what happened in this situation. So I went to go get my allergy shots. You walk in and there's the people at the front desk and there's this, usually this one person that I've like, we're friends, she's my girl, we're friends now. She wasn't there, so it was two people that I didn't know. So I told them my name, I'm like, I'm here for my two o'clock. I sat down, I'm waiting. Then someone comes and puts me in the little like rooms. There's two exam rooms, like it's literally like one hallway and then one little like tiny room, like it's quite a tiny office. So when you're in the rooms, like you can hear 
what's going on. So I get put in the farther one. Doors are always like open usually in the exam rooms. So I'm just like chilling, waiting, and usually then the do doctor would come in and get your shots done and whatever. So I'm sitting there for f 20 minutes. Like, and I'm like, okay, it's been a little while. I And this is what makes me mad. Same thing as like, if you're sitting at a restaurant and you see the serving staff just like chatting to themselves, like just not being like socially aware of what's going on. Like I've been a server before. I know you talk to your friends and like whatever, but I'm always constantly like scanning. Like and you're talking, you're scanning, like you're still have a job to do or just like being socially aware. Same thing at the dog park. Like I'm always watching my dog. I'm seeing what is going on. And it bothers me when people aren't just like, aren't watching their dog or aren't like seeing what's happening. Like I'm just like scanning, you know? I'm aware of what's around me. So same thing goes. I just hear them chatting, chatting, chatting. I'm like, okay, no one has like thought about me in a while. And I don't hear the doctor's voice. Like she has a distinct accent and voice. I don't even hear her. I'm like, is she in her? And I'm trying to like scope out what's going on, but via my like sonar system here. So I'm trying to see, is she in her office on a phone call? Like whatever. I'm trying, I'm like coming up with all these scenarios. And then it gets to like, okay, I'm going to need to say something. And I bad at that. Okay. Like I would not say anything ever. I hate confrontation. I am not good at speaking up for myself. I feel fine saying something if someone's already talking to me, but if I have to like go and approach, I can't do it. I had to like exit my room, go down and like say something to someone. Like I just like can't. Go. So I'm sitting there trying to like beef myself up to like be like, okay, I think you're gonna need to say something. So then I hear they put another person in the other exam room. That person goes in, I hear the doctor go right in. That's the first time I heard her voice. She like went right to him and starts doing his shots. And I'm like, okay, so I was 100% here first because no one was here when I got here. Okay, so they totally forgot about me, confirmed. I'm trying to like scuffle around, make a little bit of noise. I like coughed a little bit. Like I'm <laughs> just trying to do stuff that I didn't have to like say anything. So then I hear her do her shots. Usually it's like, she will do it real quick. She'll like walk out and maybe come back and check you. But the whole time they're like chatting about their vacations. They're going into like depth about these like vacays. And I'm like, okay, so she's like not feeling the urge to like go do me. So she doesn't know I'm here. So I wait for his whole appointment to be done. Maybe she heard my little cough. Maybe she remembered nobody comes and sees me. And she like must have gone back into her office. So then I like get up, I go to the front desk and I'm like, hi, I just want to check because that I haven't been like forgotten about because I've been waiting for 45 minutes. And they were like, what? No, like you got your shots already. And I was like, no, no, I haven't. So I go and sit back down and then I'm like, okay. And the doctor comes like running over and she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot. Like I completely forgot. Like I'm so sorry. As soon as anyone says anything about like, sorry, I'm like, oh my God, no, it's fine. Like my fault. Usually these things like don't fully bother me, but this, I don't know why this specific reason, if I like know that I'm being skipped or like I know that like they're just not going the correct way and I don't know. I just really don't like that. And like my blood was, it wasn't a boil, but it was a simmer. I was angry and like totally not angry at her. I'm just angry at the situation. I was like, this is annoying. So, and like she fully did this other guy. He like walks right out, bing, bang, boom. His life is fine. But I, I've been here for 45 minutes. And like, luckily like I didn't have anything to get to urgently. So it was fine, but I hate that. There was one other time where we went to go get our COVID vaccines. And this was like, the be very beginning or whatever. They give you paperwork and then you put in your paperwork and the timing that people put their thing in is the timing that you go. I love that. Like I like having a list, go to the deli, pick a number, like it's all fair. I don't like when things like aren't fair for no reason. If someone is clearly before me, like I like the order of things. So we get our, we go to go get our COVID shots and they pick, they do dance. I knew that I handed mine in right after dance. They don't call me next. I've seen all the people that have come, when they've come, who's been here before me and who came after. Like I am noticing afterwards, they do like five people that came in after me. And I was like, okay, this is annoying. They completely forgot about me. Like this isn't the right order. Like, And finally I like go up and I'm like, hello. Like I've been here for an hour. Like what is going on? That moment my blood was boiling because I could just see it happening. Like I'm like, they fully forgot about me. Like. I put in my thing, my name's on the fucking list. Okay, I'm getting heated again. Little story time, pet peeve about me. Those situations happen and uh, not a lot of things bother me, but that bothered me. Okay, Brooks is being so, so adorable right now. I'm gonna do a little bit of work now. I'm starving. 
I think I'm gonna make, I've been craving like breakfast burritos this weekend. I was with my friend and we got like breakfast burrito vibes and they were so freaking yummy. So maybe I have something like that to make. We usually don't really have eggs cause we don't really eat eggs, but I'm really feeling like breakfast burrito vibes. Do we have salsa? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna make something, do a little bit of work and maybe take my little rookie out later. And I'll put my podcast back on. Hey guys, I am dressed. <gasps> Brittany, why are you so scared? Today is a super rainy Monday. Welcome back to another week. I'm gonna see what we get into. Hopefully another healthy week. I'm gonna do some workout classes, some healthy dinners, some self-care. We are inching closer and closer to my vacation. So I have this vacation and I want to feel really strong, healthy, confident in my clothing then. So yeah, this is like day something, week something of this health journey, but I'm gonna bring you along, see what we get into. I did order a salad for lunch. We just got back in from being away over the weekend and it's a very rainy day. I was just playing catch up today. I did my nails. I don't know how I feel about them. I'm, I'm like really ha struggling with the nail colors that I've been liking right now. So I did this one. I think it's kind of fun. It's called D&D &D Goodie Bag. So if you want to screenshot that, baby. So we'll see how long I can last with these, but I've just really like not been in the mood. I've really only been feeling like pinks and reds, but that's fine. We'll see what we get up to this week. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. Nice, healthy, feel good. Let's do it. My flowers are dying. I got these from Trader Joe's and they said like last up to two weeks. I'm gonna put some stuff away from my nail polish, but they lasted a freaking long time. Dan has gotten me flowers in between getting these and they have come and gone and these were still here, but now they are falling onto the table. They're probably like dead. I'm gonna get rid of them, but honestly, don't sleep on Trader Joe's flowers. Let me quickly show you my outfit today. Like I said, we just got in last night and we got in late i was tired i took a body shower but i really was like cold i didn't want to wash my hair so my hair's a little dirty i'm wearing this h&m wool hat skims pointel t-shirt see how it says like skims in it these wedgie levi's and this miss selfridge bomber look how fun this bomber jacket is buttons getting into my fun colors again but very casual outfit okay here's today's lunch this just salad salad trying a new one today we got the buffalo chicken salad it might be spicy i hope it's not too spicy but i do like the flavor of buffalo and then i'm having a half tea half lemonade spindrift let's try it it's a little spicy, not too spicy. I think it will be like a builder as you eat. It's got like cabbage, cucumber, little cheese shreds, and chicken. It's nice to try new salads because I really love salad. Oh, it has these little like crisps, tortilla crisps maybe. I really like their smoky chicken poblano salad. It's like the best salad I've ever had for like these salad places. And, but they changed the dressing and they made it much spicier, which is still good. But it's fun to switch it up. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm running out, I have a few meetings and a appointment and then I'm going to Whole Foods. Here's my outfit, H&M, ASOS, Amazon. I'll see you later. Headed out, these Amazon sunnies did not block the sun, but they're cute all the same. Went to Whole Foods, picked up all my groceries, looked at the flowers, but they're so much better at Trader Joe's. Then came home and got straight back to work. 
So I literally just did the best unboxing ever and it's pouring and gloomy out so I hope that the lighting is fine but let's get into it because I'm shocked. I've been like looking for spring and summer even though today is like the crappiest day. Things are coming in now. So I just unboxed this Olive in June. Look how adorable this box is. The strawberries, the colors, love that. Aubrey, it's time for fresh colors and spring vibes. We are thrilled to announce the launch of our new collection. Get ready for some exciting colors, all of you. What's in season? The strawberry mani, the shrew mani, the green market, the fruit bowl. Oh, so it's like a farmer's market shopping. Colors, adorable. These little pouches, actually I have the other one right here. I literally used this to go away this weekend as like a little toiletry pouch. How adorable is that? Got another one, excited about that. Inside we have another file. Their files are great. That one's like really gritty and intense. This file that they have is the best thing ever. I, I cannot do a manicure without it. It's like these box files with different grits on there, but it just like, it makes it so smooth. I literally just used it to do this manicure. And then their cuticle serum I use every day. It's a really nice and easy way to use cuticle oils instead of an oil pot and stuff. They have these little brushes that are amazing. Look how cute this is. Farmer's Market coin pouch. These things that you use to hold on to, that you use to hold on to the nail polish to make it easier to paint. And look at all these freaking colors. These, love these. And these, so fun. Like this is the spring palette, is it not? I love it, I love these. I mean, I can't pick a favorite, I love everyone. Look how fun that is. It's called, not kale, this lettuce is radicchio. Okay, this is adorable, it's like farmer's market names. Berry basket, carrot juice, I love that. Strawberries are in season right now. Why are these names so cute? Lavender stems. Then their top coat, which is literally the best packaging ever. Super glossy coat. <sighs> I love nail stuff so much. As you can tell, we have boxes and boxes of at-home manicure stuff. So we'll link everything below, but you need to go try. Now I have a package from The Real Real. Look at this. I just unboxed this one. Legence, spelled like that. It actually, this one literally has the tag. Little shorts. I love fun little shorts for the spring instead of just like mixing it up with the denim. This like tweed bright pink. I mean, it's like highlighter pink. It's amazing. I'm so obsessed. And then another pair of shorts I got from Self Portrait. I love Self Portrait. They have like really pretty structured dresses and little like adorable things. So I found this pair of shorts, the like high waisted khaki with the folded over bottoms it's like safari vibes it comes with its own little belt but then it has this like floral applique to give a little detail make it a little special instead of just like a khaki pant oh i love it i'm so excited for spring okay everything's stalled this season this coming like spring and summer i have just been obsessed with i've been to the store in soho a few times recently it's just like really encapsulating what I want my spring wardrobe to be. And I'm obsessed with all their dresses. I saw this one on the Real Real. It feels so nice. It's like this like brushed fabric inside a really nice lighting lining. This blue color, which I haven't seen in their most recent collection. They have like pinks, greens, white, everything. But the shape is like everything for Stowed. This like French style dress with the bottom like thick hem and the buttons. All the ones this season are just plain like that and have a zipper in the back, but the style of this and like the shape I can just tell is just gonna be amazing. Flattering, so beautiful. It feels heavy and expensive. Still a great dress. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. The buttons even say stowed on them. Stowed, stowed. I'm obsessed. The owner of Stodd got married this year and I followed her like Vogue wedding and it was so beautiful. She has the best style. So very excited to see that. And then I've been obsessed. Okay, Oscar de la Renta, no one does dresses better than them, like period. So I saw a few dresses that I was eyeing on there. Look at this one. Isn't this like the prettiest little summer dress? Zip up the back, has its own little belt. This is like more of a straight down dress. I'm so 
excited. It's so pretty. The inside of the little belt says genuine leather, Oscar de la Renta. Honestly, you could take this off and wear it as a belt as well. So you get a little two for one. But I mean, really no one does dresses better than them. So that was my little real roll haul. I'll try them all on, but literally stunning. I'm so obsessed with the real roll. Their clothing, like finding vintage clothing has been so fun for me. So yeah, I'll link I mean, I can't really link these things because they're one of a kind, but I will link all of these down below. Okay, look at how amazing these self-portrait shorts are. They are so flattering and comfortable. They're so cute. I'm obsessed with them. I can't wait to wear these in the summer. They're so comfortable. I love the belt and the like flare-out style. I find very flattering. Love, love, love. Okay, I don't have it zipped up all the way because I can't reach, but this style dress, style dress, literally makes me feel like Beauty and the Beast. It is so stunning, so flattering. Like, look how it hugs me here. It feels so expensive and nice. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how much I love this dress. So excited to wear it. Mm! Okay, here's the Oscar de la Renta dress. I like it. I don't... I don't know if it fits quite right. It's a bit like loose right here. And even with the belt, it, there's still like bunching of fabric, but then it feels really tight. And that seam right here against my hips. I don't know, what do we think? Cause the print is beautiful. It's a little bit longer. Maybe I could get it shortened and like let out a little bit right here. What do we think? How do we feel about it? 